so if it is a you know it it is the pinning point that we are competing because we are not alone we have to survive actually and we have to sometime coexist right and we have to also put ourselves differently we have to be a you know seems to be a different ball in color different you know way we are among the among the crowd so in that case uh, we have to make yourself uh, differently you know from others so as uh, as we understood that uh, conventionally uh, when the industrialization happened and a lot of people come down a lot of companies come down for the common purposes for example during the time when initially industrialization happened and a lot of textile comes companies come up they were having the common objective to prepare or do mass production of you know uh, textile or apparels and similarly when after henry ford's you know invention of t shaped vehicle lot of other companies came up and jumped into the business seeing the you know the greenness of the idea that motor is something people are now replacing over the carts about the over the animal carts people recreating and sometime imitating the initial invention happened same happened when uh thomas alva edison come out with uh, filament under his company called g electricals and lot of other vendors they decided that they will also start doing manufacturing of bulb right because filament is a key so let us imitate it let us purchase patent or have some kind of patent adjustment with g electricals we will pay him but we will also compete with g so you understand that any industry which is being established was initially established by few but later on understanding the you know the greenness of the idea that this could be a fertile idea it can give us a equal you know strength equal market position equal revenue that our competitor is or the initial introduced introducer is getting why don't we get into this so let me assume let me take in a very desi example uh, laddu wala who uh, who was able to sell his laddu uh, near to railway station and people those are coming and going uh, to railway station uh, they used to purchase laddu to gift their you know family members uh, right as a as a as a representation or the token of love of uh, the city they belong right the typical shop near nazimabad railway station and uh, you know like any pa- chai wala or shop it is uh, you know it is felicitating the people now understanding or you know watching the growth the presence the benefits the goodwill the location advantage of this laddu wala chai wala shop people start copying it and they also come out with the laddu wala ki dukan so it happened because see the story you begin with people get motivated they start imitating you because you by and large establish a growth so wherever we have public to serve customers to serve we'll have definitely the competition definitely right so that nazimabad railway station ke bagal ki shop which is into you know giving the laddu or uh, what do you call it uh, jam uh, what do you call it jamun or jamun this, jamun uh, tularam yes, tularam it's got so popular that it is surrounded by lot of other you know mithai walas and the popularity was at peak that the next generation of tularam was actually two tularams so their brothers were fighting with each other that we, will, we are original tularam But beside to Tularam, if you if you have you know uh, time to surround around, if you're coming by a road, you can see lot of uh, mithai shops are there because I understand that mithai ka business is good, right? Nazimabad ke Tularam, Tularam one, Tularam two, original Tularam, traditional Tularam, so we have a common you know uh, names and they are serving by and large the same stuff because they have imitated over. the period of time or they they created a kind of you know system that the the person who is working with the original tularam will for uh, for couple of you know uh, more money he can you know come to you and uh, do the same kind of dish making for you same goes with uh, 
छोटी वाले एज इन ऋषिकेश आई मीन विद द सेम फ्लेवर एंड सेम काइंड ऑफ यू नो डिश सेट और मेन्यू पीपल कैन यू नो गेट द यू नो नदी पार करने की जरूरत नहीं उससे पहले ही आपको सेम फ्लेवर मिल जाएगा आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट राइट नाउ सिचुएशन आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द सिचुएशन वैन छोटी वाले वॉज वेरी पॉपुलर राइट सो नाउ इम्पॉर्टेंटली इट हैपन इन एवरी इंडस्ट्री दिस इज समथिंग आई वॉन्ट टू टेल नाउ इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सर्वाइव इन द इंडस्ट्री इवन एज अ इंट्रोड्यूसर द कंपनी हु हैज इंट्रोड्यूस द आइडिया समटाइम्स यू ऑल्सो हैव टू यू नो सर्वाइव इवन वेन यू ओनली इंट्रोड्यूस द कंसेप्ट टू द इंडस्ट्री you have to create a competitive advantage in that way if you are not able to other will replace you i don't understand where is xerox kahi dikhti hai aajkal no where is this company fuzzy film or uh, kodak there is nowhere these companies are nowhere actually can we see the floppy manufacturing company alcatel no we can't see it because these companies over the period of time they got vanished even they introduced the basic idea alcatel was the company who introduced the idea of storage 1.44 mb ka data store ho sakta hai floppy disk drive and the same concept is revived up then we have hard disk of tera terabyte million trillion you know terabytes can be stored on cloud but the basic idea was the storage and this company in 2016 has 2018 they have closed down the last center in indonesia the manufacturing site and this company is nowhere in the stock exchange or nowhere in the physical market also we have uh, camera manufacturing company is the roll manufacturing company kodak they are no more into this business then they they they, are, uh, they they come up or they have closed up the business of uh, making the digital uh, analog films right camera rolls and they have been replaced by a sony kind of company which, which are which uh, you know come out with the with the latest version of uh, uh, they, they transformed or they they are they have witnessed the you know new age of uh, camera manufacturing they uh, they took it to uh, from uh, analog you know films to uh, digital cameras so my point is this as you also understood now that we are talking about something which is called competition and it is happening when we are competing for the common causes on common resources but by and large we must have competitive advantage to stand out if we don't have the competitive advantage we are the player for some time somebody will replace it so now this is the story devin port during his, in his article has mentioned he talked about a lot of things he talked about a lot of things but he he actually talking about that nowadays firms are actually and since from the you know starting firms were based on first were comp, firms were competing on resources mera rajya aapke rajya se bada hona chahiye tabhi main bada maharaj kehlaunga right and just uh, all of you are you know well versed with uh, ramayan when uh, bhagwan ram came back from vanvas so the first thing he did is After all settlement and all, the first thing he did is was Ashwamedha Yagya. And what is that all about? Is the extension of Rajya. पिछले चौदह साल से extension नहीं हुआ. भारत ने कुछ नहीं किया. भारत ने सिर्फ राज्य संभाला. Extension नहीं किया. और किसी राज्य के लिए extension is extensively important because आपका प्रभुत्व बढ़ेगा तो ज़्यादा जो local लोग हैं अयोध्या के लोग हैं उनका विस्तार क्षेत्र बढ़ेगा अयोध्या की size बढ़ेगी अयोध्या के अंदर बड़े बड़े राज्य आसपास के राज्य इंक्लूड होंगे और जितना ज्यादा वर्ग क्षेत्र होगा जितना ज्यादा एरिया हम कवर कर पाएंगे उतना हमारा राज्य होगा राम राज्य होगा राम राज्य का मतलब यहाँ पे राजा राम के राज्य की बात हो रही <coughs> सूर्यवंश चलेगा और साथ साथ हम बैठे जगह अपना व्यापार बढ़ा सकते हैं उस सेंस में हमारे पास ज्यादा बड़े खेत होंगे ज्यादा बड़ी जमीने होंगी ज्यादा लोग होंगे ऑफ कोर्स ताकि हम अपने राज्य के विस्तार में या फर्दर उसके स्ट्रेंथन करने के लिए हम उनका इस्तेमाल कर सकें तो राजा राम का कंसेप्ट फैक्टर ऑफ प्रोडक्शन क्या है वॉट इज एक्चुअली ट्राइंग टू डू आफ्टर कमिंग फ्रॉम द वनवास इज ट्राइंग टू एक्सपेंड हिज लैंड लेबर कैपिटल टेक्नोलॉजी एंड अदर रिसोर्स सो दैट राजा राम विल हैव दू नो अपर हैंड ओवर द अदर कॉम्पिटिटर्स द नेबरिंग राजाज so that concept is conventionally anciently known to us and this is not the new thing actually any 
any businessman was doing, any strategist is doing, any you know owner of the land is doing. Expansion is the only sense, which is happening to by optimizing the resources. So they were competing on what? They were competing on resources. This is something we need to understand. And up till now only, as I've said, up till now, firms are competing on resources. And they misunderstood that resources are basically the physical resource, which they recently corrected. That the resources are not the physical resource that can give you the leverage. They are not only the physical resource that can give you the leverage. We must have intangible resources also. Because all the physical resources during the time of digitalization, during the time of internet age, during the age of internet, they are no more actually in physical form. All the resources are now transformed, converted into intangible entity called data. I mean, to say, if Rajaram is in the and he said, I have so much land, so obviously, the auditor says, what? The auditor says, how many of the land registries are there? Where is the data? It doesn't happen. He said, I have so much uh, uh, livestock, so many guys, etc., etc. Okay, show us the figures. We are more interested to know the figures. We are not interested to know your claims. So the accountant will show them, show him, show the auditors the numbers. So that numbers, based on the numbers, the valuation of the whole, you know, kingdom can be take place. Is that okay? Getting my point, no? Are you getting the analogy? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So now, yes, importantly, trusted in the fact that you are not the only one. Suppose Rajaram has to, you know, lease his whole property to somebody. He is looking forward for someone who can, you know, acquire his whole kingdom. So that valuation requires to be happened. And the valuation is purely based on the data. He is actually showing it to the third party for the due diligence. So that someone will, someone will come and join or collaborate with Rajaram's kingdom or have some kind of, you know, possible uh, merger or acquisitions. So if Rajaram is selling and a lot of other people have also decided that they will, you know, sell or, you know, lease down their properties. So they have to show the records. They have to show the data. So anything which is making him different from his potential competitor, those are selling their lands, will coming through the data only. So anything in the world is coming up as a data. Simple. Right? Data is a satya. The only satya, the eternal shashwat satya is data. If you don't have data or anything in data form, numbers, you're not doing anything actually. You're, you can't claim anything. So Devin Port, he was talking about this data that I'm discussing about. Right. So competing on analytics means speed of talking about we are competing on resources that mere bas itna hai, mere bas ke hai. And how I'm different from you. These, you know, physical assets are now replaced by data and how intelligently you can use data will make you more competitive over your competitor so that data usage of data working on that data coming up with competitive advantage based on that data which is called a data analytics really help you as a firm to outstanding to outstand with other competitors right I think you can make sense out of uh, the whole thing. Are you able to make, ma'am? Yes. Yes, sir. All right. So that's that's really nice. So I wish to take you to a small, you know, discussion now. I will show you. Uh, I will share with you some, you know, uh, notes also in PDF. Beside to the um, reading in the morning that I've shared with you, or reading uh, of the PDF I've shared with you during the uh, afternoon time with both of the batches. I wish to show you something. I wish to tell you about how, how it is happening. And we will talk about the various underlying elements, right? So let me share one, a small PPT with you. Right, uh, let me just share with you. Now, can you see this? 
is it coming to you no sir no sir yes sir now it's coming now it's coming yeah, now now coming yes sir all right no so i'm talking about the article that i've shared with you competing on uh, analytics uh so this this article is a direct article which talks about the importance of analytics and uh, uh, in the landing page it talks about the writer of the authors uh, writer of the article right and uh, what they have they perceived the whole concept so uh, uh, devin ford is as i've said that is the professor with both mit and uh, Uh, MIT Sloan Business School and uh, uh, with Harvard Business School, so he's a very renowned professor in the area of information systems. He, along with his uh, co-author, he wrote down this uh, article. Now, oh, interestingly, what I mean to tell tell you is, we firstly need to understand what analytics is. Besides, as as we understand that data is a resource, can you please shut, uh, mute yourself, Abhishek? I can't do, mute you. Can you mute yourself? Okay, thank you. So now, firms are competing on analytics. As I've said, data को properly use करना, data में विभिन्न प्रकार के तकनीकों का इस्तेमाल करना, data analytics कहलाता है. ये बात हम सबको पता लग गई है. So screen is empty. Now, importantly, our screen is having some problem. I guess. Let me. Some internet variation is happening. So that's why it's a, it's a online presentation. Let me do it again, ma'am. Just wait for a second. इंटरनेट सर्विस All right. Uh, let me again share. It is. It has come. Uh, yes. Okay. Now, can you see now clearly? Not yet, sir. Yeah, it is coming. Okay. So I was talking about this. That analytics is nothing but data. Ko analyze करने का जो विधान या process है उसको data analytics बोलते हैं. एनालिटिक्स में बोलेंगे तो काम चल जाएगा तो एनालिटिक्स इज नथिंग बट हाउ वी कैन यूज एक्सटेंसिवली अवर डेटा विद द यूजेज ऑफ सम काइंड ऑफ यू नो टेक्निक्स व्हिच आर टिपिकली स्टैटिस्टिकल टेक्निक्स और क्वालिटेटिव एनालिसिस टेक्निक एंड नो लॉट ऑफ एग्जिस्टिंग मॉडल्स कैन बी यूज बट इन लेमन वाली भाषा एनालिटिक्स इज नथिंग बट डेटा हमारे पास जो रिसोर्स है वो डेटा के फॉर्म में अब हम अपने कॉम्पिटिटर के ऊपर एडवांटेज लेने के लिए उस डेटा को प्रॉपरली एनालाइज करेंगे और उस एनालाइज किए हुए डेटा से हम अपने कॉम्पिटिटर के ऊपर कॉम्पिटेटिव एडवांटेज लेंगे सो so, हमें यहाँ पर एक टर्म समझना पड़ेगा कॉम्पिटेटिव एडवांटेज राइट दैट मीन्स हाउ बेटर वी कैन बी ओवर अवर कॉम्पिटेटिव दैट इज कॉल्ड एज कॉम्पिटेटिव एडवांटेज and second thing we need to understand that how this competitive advantage with the usage of analytics can be maintained right so uh, let me tell you uh, what what do you, what we mean by competitive advantage any one of you would like to attempt this uh, question what do you mean by competitive advantage any one of you how good you are and compare to your alternatives or to competitions what uh, better opportunities uh, the, you can get through this uh, competitive i suppose a uh, competitive right. advantage is something like a prediction of the competition and basis that taking the advantage of like that uh, being the first one in the in that competition correct the first one so okay, how, how you how you no, how, how you outperform the your comp competition using data analytics because both the parties are using data analytics but 
uh, who can uh, use uh, in a more efficient way okay let us not get into data analytics directly let me talk about the competitive advantage as uh, ma'am has said that the competitive advantage is more about you know outstanding oneself right but how how one can outstand himself with others with the competitors what is Sir, the way my understanding we can uh, use that data uh, by uh, brand uh, don't, don't, don't 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 get into data directly just let me know okay. can we use resources for uh, creating competitive advantage yes or no yes yes how so oh. basically isme geographical aspect bhi aa sakta hai ki as in agar like agar main ek chhota sa example lu ye maggi point ka to bahut sare maggi points hain matlab yahan masuri road pe but jahan par ek location jo best location pe hai main jo wahan par hai to uska kyunki competition sab jagah pe hai par usko competitive advantage us cheez ka mil jata hai wahan par like uski okay. sale Uh, comparatively और जो क्योंकि मिल बाकी चीजें सारी सेम है वही मैगी मिलती है वही टेस्ट है वही मोमोज हैं सब कुछ वही है बट द लोकेशन वाइज एक जो मैगी पॉइंट मेन जो कोर मैगी पॉइंट है उसको बस ये कॉम्पिटेटिव एडवांटेज है कि उसकी जो लोकेशन है बिल्कुल रिवर व्यू है एंड लाइक हिल पे है तो मेरे मतलब अंडरस्टैंडिंग के हिसाब से दैट विल बी ए कॉम्पिटेटिव एडवांटेज so the real asset uh, the asset you had no yahi kehna chahiye na jo uska so called khareedi hui zameen hai jo own ki hui hai yes sir yahan pe so that is again a resource right is is yes, land sir. yes sir yes sir so i got the first answer through him that the land the place right and and the kind of you know the place it was it is actually and uh, uh, is a vital place it is a place where people used to come and feel relaxed because services is a is a matter of you know ambience also so location could be an advantage so your land as a resource fortunately gives you a location advantage and therefore the maggi point original is having competitive advantage over the other place aur uski safalta ko dekhte dekhte baki logo ne bhi maggi point karke hi right they created because there was no copyright as such Yeah, he has not copyrighted the name, so by default limitation हो गया. और कोई example? Any any more commercial example? Sir, okay. like uh, human competence as we discuss in Procter and Gamble case, Mr. Persini. So yes, can we take some generalized example? Can you make it generalized to others also? Sir, those are those. Agar wall street shop in Delhi, sir. Come again? Sir, agar wall street shop in Delhi. Sir, as as mr abhishek uh, said that uh, the Maggi, as you also said that uh, there are lot of maggi points there is no copyright so the 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 if that one single guy who has opened the maggi point uh, he can use value addition in his product to stand alone with uh, with the competitors okay value addition can we have some example from industry directly which is quite visible to everybody who's not seen maggi point as such recreation in the example pardon recreation in branding okay any more example so coke pepsi hai yes so coke and pepsi they are they are fighting mm. on what they are fighting on mm. the resources like yes. how many you know distributors are with us mm. how many distributor on my are on my side so the number of distributor will build a game changer how many retail points i can have in my kitty so that this coca cola will not come and uh, come to my numbers i mean the more the distribution network i have the more more suppliers the more retailers i have in my distribution network uh, the more will be my reach the more bottles or more product i can sell which my competitor can do so every summer they fight on this and before you know uh, during the season time before they actually start selling their products during the off season time they try to develop the distribution network they keep on uh, contracting their short term or mid term contract with the fortune ki shop wala as even even i told this example today also you can see that joshi pan mandar is now coca cola pepsi joshi pan mandar Sponsored in every sense. Pura ka pura kaya ke lab ho gayi. Dabur is. 
डाबर इतना कॉम्पिटेटिव हो कितने डाबर आल्सो सर यस डाबर डाबर इंडिया डाबर ओलाइन ओलाइन वर कॉम्पिटिंग विद ईच अदर यस सो दे कॉम्पिटिंग ऑन व्हाट दे कॉम्पिटिंग ऑन the essence of that industry ola and uber is purely they don't yes. own even a single car yes sir they are yeah. working mm-hmm. on they're strengthening mm-hmm. on they are competing with each other suppose there are only two players for an example there are only two players they're competing on number of drivers registered under them because drivers will come with their own car for the service sake and they are binding their drivers by the perks and the kind of you know the salaries they are giving them the kind of you know additional benefits they are giving them so just try and understand if we have an industry we have the competitors if we have the competitors we must need to comp- differentiate ourselves from each other and the differentiation is eventually come from the resources only so ola and uber could be the last example that you have discussed ola and uber are competing on the resources and what they are actually banking upon what is the common resource they have the drivers because na- neither ola not uber they have their own you know fleets they don't have any ownership of the cars they don't have any own own, own cars they are just rent- rented cars owned by the drivers only right driver responsible hai car lane ke liye so driver car bhi leke aayega aapke liye virtual assets bhi leke aayega sath sath wohi uska hi license hoga uska hi sab kuch hoga hum sirf naam de rahe hain hum services mein humko include kar rahe hain so kind of contract they have developed with the drivers give them the strength the more the contracts the more the drivers are the more the strength we have the more the market share we will have so their resources are what the drivers now anything which is coming to drivers or engage with the drivers of the car services will be analyzed by the data analytics so shortest possible both uh, at uh, you know best of the best you know uh, routing softwares right best way of engagement or the tariff management kind of in you know, about how much to charge per kilometer the, the amount they are charging for tier 1 city is different from the tier 3 city definitely they are not uniform so the amount they are charging in rishikesh that is not the amount they are charging in mumbai or maybe new york right so that's how they are trying to outstand the base important hoga resources aa jayenge एनालिटिक्स का इस्तेमाल करके आप एक दूसरे के साथ कॉम्पिटेटिव एडवांटेज ले सकते हैं इंपॉर्टेंट अभी भी बेसिक चीज वही है जो राजा राम के टाइम पे थी कि रिसोर्सेज पूल करो पहले इफ यू डोंट हैव रिसोर्सेज यू कैन यू नो प्ले अराउंड राइट द बेस रिमेन द सेम एंड नॉर्मली द रिसोर्सेज आर बोथ टेंजिबल एंड इंटेंजिबल इज इट लेट मी टेक अ रेंडम एग्जाम्पल जस्ट टू मेक इट मोर एक्साइटिंग एम आई ऑडिबल क्लियरली Oh, but I'm not lost. Very, yes, very clear, very clear, sir. So Nike and this, the other brands, Nike and uh, uh, other brands of uh, shoe making, they sponsor FIFA World Cups and big, you know, big shows. Adidas, Nike, and they they never manufacture goods on their own. They purely do contract manufacturing. They ask different, you know, big and small uh, shoe makers, organized and unorganized. prepare shoes for them they have they provide them the designs exactly right the numbers they have the more the numbers of shoe makers they have bigger or smaller the more they have a uh, volume of you know what do you call it production economic scale and the more they have the economic scale they have more you know reasons to sell the products and they stress only on sales and marketing they create the brand they advertise it they endorse you know big players big superstars right fifa champions or maybe other sports if they are into tennis players and they are seen all and they they showcase themselves to the public so what what is beyond what is behind the uh, behind the curtain behind the curtain are the set of suppliers which are the resources for this company now importantly as a as a as a company at the top as a company which is visible to the public they use different analytics different form of analytics to bind their suppliers to decide their freight or the movement of goods from their their end to the you know sales counter to the sales stores they decide lot of analytics they 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 do lot of analytics analytics in order to manage the customers that what is the best shoe for you how the new kit is coming up 
Suppose the FIFA is at the corner, 2022 FIFA World Cup, for example. So they have a special edition, you know, signed by uh, uh, the famous football player who, uh, Diago Maradona. So last, you know, signed special edition before he his death, the last signed, you know, uh, uh, soccer uniform or soccer dress, duly signed by Diego Maradona. They will highlight it. Because Diego Maradona, who is called as the Jadugar of football, right, is no more. And you are the company who endorsed him before he died. Right? So now, importantly, they will showcase, they will put analytics on that. They have a strong CRM, customer relationship management. Based on the information system, they play the data. They have a strong SRM. They have strong, you know, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, post-sales uh, uh, mechanism. They, they're strengthening on that. And they are better than other competitors. They are bet better than Flair. They're, they are better than other Puma. They are better than other players. Because they they know how to play and when to play. And they are playing with data. They have a lot of you know techniques in place. So resources on the Tabi Zarurita Ramki time Abibi Zaruri. Right. So now importantly. What is analytics? Analytics is nothing but and analytics are the set of techniques which play with the data. Anything you have should be in the form of data. Mere paas bachche hain, so that is should be numbers. Mere paas pandra hazar employees hain, that should be numbers. Wo teen different levels pe kaam karte hain, that should be numbers. Meri net worth itni hai, that should be numbers. Mere paas itne trucks hain, that should be number. So everything should be in number. So that if you have numbers, you can play around, right? And your competitor will obviously definitely they will also have numbers. So you can use that those numbers of yours for creating a competitive advantage. Maggie points a little example. So it was a basic example to understand what competitive advantage is for a domestic classroom. You are into an executive program, so you should make sense from the readings. That's why we are insisting you to read good quality of you know readings, good quality of material. So, apne hypothetical examples banane se better hai. We must have a good reading, right? That's why I gave you four plus hours of time, and this article I've shared in the morning for the first year batch, and for the second year batch I shared four hours back. You must tell up a reading of uh, reading habits actually. I don't know how quickly you will embrace it, but by and large, you must have this habit. See, every opportunity, every 15 minutes of talk is an opportunity to learn new things. I made this lecture as an extra lecture because we had the lecture in the morning and uh, earlier we had the lecture on Sundays, 7 to 9 p.m. But I felt that uh, why not, you know, the senior batch should be the part. So if, if something has been given to you, you know, you should read it. You have syllabus given, what you have to read the syllabus, that's the concept. It's not important, it's important that you have to read it. What you have to read the syllabus, you can read it, there's no issue in it. But it's important that what you have to read, that you have to work in life, not in the exam. In the exam, it's not a big thing. So importantly, why analytics becomes so important that Firms are competing on that because the companies which actually are able to create data in a, in a uh, in such a form that it can be analyzed will use that advantage for the longer run. What I mean to say that uh, I'm taking another example now. We have Facebook. Facebook has a record that every 10 minutes they have more than 2000 subscription so the growth rate of facebook is that every 10 seconds 2000 people join and join facebook you know through their accounts newly developed accounts and in terms of financial growth their growth rate is almost 0.2 percent i told in the morning also Every day, they are getting 0.2% of growth, which means if I am 100% last day, today I am 100.2% uh, 
zero hundred point two, which means the growth rate is it's not annual. The growth rate is coming daily actually, right? And what they did, they simply developed a algorithm, right? They simply developed the algorithm so that the people can share their, you know, memories. They can share their moment of joy to the people. Those are not able to connect them physically. Their friends, their old uh, neighbors, their family members. Those are not living in the same locality they are into. So remotely, through virtual world, through you know internet, they can join each other. So that concept become a commercial, you know, super blockbuster. The Facebook becomes so popular that you now anyone in the planet, almost three percent out of five, they are becoming the part of Facebook. And you can imagine the population of the world. And new and new people are coming up and joining Facebook. So the kind of revenue they are developing through revenue model they have. We will discuss about the SEOs and revenue model of social network sites sometime later. But importantly, Facebook is not a non-profit organization. They are typically into profit business. They are a data-driven business into. They are into a data-driven business. So they develop a system which will ever last. And virtually, they don't have any competitor. Even the big competitor, Google Plus is flop. Google Plus is same as uh, Facebook. It is, but we have very limited subscription, very less features when it comes to Google Plus. So now, now importantly, Facebook become a kind of company which is outstand, able to outstand vis a vis its competitors, right? So now that should be that. This is the first point that I want to highlight over here. that it should remain for the long you have created the competitive advantage using analytics and the advantage you have developed through analytics should give you the leverage for the long so once you develop a business model it will remain now and you know in the, in the days to come also with little in, you know little more improvisation and changes the wealth of the companies these days it's not the physical wealth they have in their bank accounts the strength is the wealth is the data they have generated, right? Because data data is the treasure. Companies are not selling, you know. Recently, I've got scams. But I like think, oops, sorry, ki kya hua? Twitter account, Kisan Andolan me itne logon ne fake account banana hua tha jo pro uh, Kisan tha aur anti government tha, jinhone uh, tino laws ko uh, distorted form me likha, right? या मोदी गवर्नमेंट मोदी जी इलेक्शन जीत जाते हैं जब फर्स्ट टर्म में आए थे थ्रू सोशल नेटवर्क साइट्स क्योंकि वो हर जगह उपस्थित नहीं होने के बाद एक पूरी वर्कफोर्स बनाई गई थी जो उनके बारे में अच्छा लगती थी या एनडीए के एजेंडास के बारे में बात करती थी या रिसेंटली कांग्रेस ने डिसाइड किया कि वो एक एंटी मोदी मूवमेंट चलाया गया ताकि नेक्स्ट इलेक्शन में मोदी के अगेंस्ट काफी बड़ा एक माइंड जनरेट किया जा सके so they are engaging the more people to be the part of their it workforce which are nothing but the people those are keep sending you know uh, messages uh, about you know achievements of congress in different states and the failures of modi at the center we have crowd funding for terrorism activities which are broadly being done by you know online things right so we have lot of things on the on the good side and as well on the bad, bad side also that what is happening across the world is being done through data and database platforms and anything which is virtually available which is being done online is being used by is being developed through a system and that system is what that system is typically a data driven system right this is something i wanted to tell you about now importantly this wealth that you have created is not for right now situation it will it will last ever it will ever last the wealth we have generated will ever last right yeah okay. connect to this this is the second time some <laughs> battery is getting down so i need to connect 
Yeah, but we can hear you. Make sense? Really? Yeah, yeah. So, does it make sense to you that uh, wealth is uh, data is the wealth now? Instead of having physical, you know, assets as the wealth, companies are more focusing upon data to be the wealth. And you can leverage your capacity for long-term competitive advantage. If competitive advantage is just, is at the center, you can leverage your capability for the longer run. If you're able to understand this, uh, you know, a new form of uh, managing the show through data strategy. I better call it data strategy, where data actually helps the firms to showcase themselves, not in the eyes of the customers, but also in terms of the supplier relationship, they are able to manage the show through data. They're able to take big decisions based on data. Just, just assume that during the COVID-19 time, we all are, most of us in the service industry, they are doing work from home and nothing stopped the world to grow. We have changed the way we were doing the business. Sir, HCL has given a bonus, hai, sir. HCL yes. has given. Abhi to pura news mein tha HCL ka. So if they Our gave the bonus, uh, yeah. So if they have uh, Nambias give the this bonus thing, that is only possible when they are able to make uh, some profit better than the year on year uh, than the last year. Bonus to tabi diya jayega na. So in COVID why time, is, yeah, in the COVID time, it's it's not for the motivation sake only. It is something you know to mo not only to motivate the employees, but because. They got some good amount of, you know, uh, profits in the last year. So the effective or efficient way the workforce worked and being the service industry, they are able to get good profit. They have shared their profit in the form of bonus. Now, importantly, what I mean to tell, I don't know about the SL story. Uh, probably I have to see this. But importantly, if the things are coming up in such form that the bonus has been given, it's a result of the strength the company has developed in the last one year. when the the rest of the companies, probably within the industry, within the same industry, has suffered huge losses. With the little change in their business model or the way the people perceive their you know, activities, the routine jobs, they have created a kind of work from home environment or flexible mandates so that people, those are actually doing physical work. Now they're coming and they're not coming to the office because it is saving a lot of you know, your resources. And the other hand, actually, they are working from home they are more productive, they are more efficient, and they are contributing to the you know, growth of the firm. So my point is this, you take any company, any company which is into any domain, education, you know, IT-enabled services like MAM said, SCL, or even the manufacturing companies, buy and or the kind of, you know, they created the environment for the customers. Everything is coming through internet-based businesses. So it's also data-driven company, na? Pura uh, data analytics or cloud or sub kuchhi to. Yes, hai. every everybody, ma'am. Every company, even I, I may call my university as data-driven university, because successfully without having you know uh, any proprietary software, any much spend on IT, our university is able to make you know almost of. Uh, air of academic uh, performance through online education. So we actually, we also become the part of uh, data-driven economy. We took fees from you, but we never asked you to come to the uh, online, offline classes because COVID was there, lockdown was there. And everything without any hassle or when, without any sort of, you know, compromise on the quality, the lectures were delivered, the exam took place. Right. Although few more standards of compliance can be happened, but although with the limited resources, we are able to make it. And same goes with the uh, other players in the industry. We are also becoming the part of data driven economies. Economics means businesses. So if something goes well, then why don't it should be the part of the holistic you know, service portfolio? Now we're giving you the option. That why don't if you if you're working somewhere, you won't be able to come on Sundays or even Saturdays. Why don't you uh, opt for the flip mode? If you're not able to come, join us online. If you're able to come, well and good. Simple. So this transformation, this transformation which was happened or compelled to us through COVID, but it is a positive transformation. It's helping us to transform ourselves as a more competitive firm when it comes to education or higher education solutions, right? Better than our competitors. This is again a data-driven economy for us. We are the part of data-driven economies. 
we become we are witnessing so this is not giving us the leverage only for covid time it is also becoming a kind of services we can uh, accelerate or sustain and this covid also post covid as well so this is my narration all about and i am giving going to give you a additional uh, pdf to read which is nothing but the expanded form of the reading devin port's article and you will get lot of insights on how different companies like ups procter and gamble unilever limited or what not how they use data and they come out with the data driven you know uh, mechanism of doing business and how they can outstand themselves with their competitors so you need to actually get more into this right start reading more because it is happening across the all industries it is happening around you you guys need to work upon this read it leverage it use it in your own own edition take learning which are more practical which are more workable which are more you know visible to the people right and help yourself in your careers and also help your organization to grow right so with this uh, i wish to take your leave right and uh, just sharing the ppt with you and uh, that uh, uh, extra resource which is a supplementary you know content you just need to you know read it uh, ppt is ka hi pdf file hai wo you can also read it and if you have any any query you can you know simply drop me a message on whatsapp or you can uh, uh, give me a call any time across the whole week right thank you so much and attendance and other stuff i will i will share with you A combined attendance of both of the both batches, right? Okay. Thank you so thank much. You, and thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir.